Hi everyone! As you can see, I am in my bedroom right now with my three girls, Trixie, Minnie and little Lucy in the Sputnik <laughs> uh, for their playtime and I thought since I'm already here with them um, I might as well make uh, a quick video for you and um, show you how they're doing because I realized that I haven't made a video about my three girls in a while uh, because my last videos were all uh, related to Bobby and uh, Misty but my three girls are still here too of course so they deserve to have a little video as well um, so uh, for this video I decided that I am going to tell you a little bit about um, what I feed my rats so first of all um, I make sure that I always have fresh water available for them I have um, two water bottles in the cage. Um, <laughs> Lucy. I have two water bottles in the cage, as I said. So one in uh, the top half of the cage and one in the bottom half. The reason that I have to is just to make sure that in case one of the bottles would ever uh, break, I would still have um, I would still have another bottle available uh, for them, so they will never go uh, thirsty. And then uh, the dry food that they eat on a daily basis um, looks like this. And it's the Burgess uh, rat food. And as you can see, it's all uh, just brown nuggets. All the nuggets look exactly the same. The reason why I like this type of food is um, just because it kind of prevents selective eating. Um, every nugget contains everything that they need to stay healthy. It contains all the vitamins and the nutrients and the minerals, everything that they need to eat to stay, uh, to stay in good health uh, is in each and every uh, nugget. Ooh. <laughs> um, so, and with the mixed uh, foods, you know, the, the different types of food with different uh, things in there, it's possible that your rats will just take all the stuff out that they like the best and that they will leave the rest that they're not too keen on. And by doing that, it's possible that they might miss out on, on some things that they need to stay healthy. And that's the reason why I personally like this type of food and I've been uh, feeding them this ever since I first started keeping them. So, and, and they like it a lot which is a plus, of course. Um, and what I also like to give them is um, these um, Vitacraft rat uh, sticks. And these are especially um, for rats, as you can see on the box. It says rat, and there's a little rat on the front as well, who looks a little bit like Trixie, kind of. <laughs> uh, and they like this as well. I usually put a new stick in every time I clean the cage. Um, and they really gather around it then and they take all the little bits off that they really like and then they eat it with their little hands so it's really cute to watch. <laughs> what are you doing? They're investigating. Um, so those sticks are a huge uh, hit with them. And then of course, one of their favorite treats is uh, these yogurt drops. The ones that I have look like this. Um, I think it's by a brand called Armitage Pet Care um, and I really like this so I will see if they will take one. Lucy look! Yes of course and Trixie just you know helps herself she doesn't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> Here Minnie! Minnie you too! <laughs> yeah just you know Feel free to do whatever you want, Trixie. <laughs> she's actually being very good because she's not taking anymore. Usually when they see the bag, they just go for it and then I really have to take it away or they would just take everything out of out of the bag and hide it in their little hiding spots. Um, so, but uh, next to these types of food, you know, the treats, I don't give them too many treats because I don't want them to get, you know, sick or... Uh, or anything but um, every now and again I do give them their their little treats and and they do really enjoy them <laughs> Lucy 
Um, and then next to that, of course, I also give them lots of fresh fruit and uh, vegetables which is very important as well. And if you look on, online, and if you were to type in what can I feed my pet rat, you would see an enormous list of, of things that you can feed them. There's really lots of, lots of uh, fruits and, and vegetables that you can uh, feed them. Um, mine have a few favorites, uh, such as they love cucumber. So whenever I give them cucumber, they go for it. They absolutely love it. Uh, they love things like uh, kale. Yeah, Trixie. They love things like kale and uh, broccoli. Um, hello. <laughs> um, and then other favorites are, are different types of berries, like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Um, you do have to keep in mind when you feed them those types of uh, things that they will make a mess. Um, because sometimes even we feed them blueberries and then afterwards you forgot what what they've been eating and you look at them and you think oh my god they have like they have spots on their tails oh my god are they bleeding and then of course they're not bleeding it's just blueberry that they smeared all over them <laughs> but they really uh, they really love to eat it um and other things that they really like as well are uh, banana I like to give them as well and they also like orange. I don't give them orange all the time but every now and again uh, I give it to them and they really like it. With orange it is important though that you know that you can only feed that to uh, female rats because uh, if you feed oranges to male rats it can lead to uh, kidney problems and, and uh, tumors and things like that and that's something that you definitely want to avoid. So it's important that you don't give oranges to males, only to females. <laughs> and uh, if you want to uh, make sure if it's definitely okay for females, I can tell you, yes, it is. Because I checked it with my vet as well, because I wanted to make sure. And uh, the vet said, yes, no worries, orange is perfectly fine for females. Yeah, and they do like it a lot, don't you, little mini? <laughs> So this is what they do for their playtime. <laughs> this is actually something that I got new for them. I will actually do an updated uh, cage door as well because I've made some changes in the cage. So I will show you that in, in another video soon as well so you can see the changes that I made. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Trixie. Anyway. As I was saying, what I feed them so next to, so there's lots of fruit and vegetables that I give them. Um, there's things that they're not really too keen on, especially apples and pears. They don't like. I, I've tried to give it to them a few times, and every time it just it's uh, it doesn't work. They don't want to eat it. They chew a little bit, and then it's like yuck. What are you giving us? And then they just leave it. They don't like it, so I stopped. I stopped trying because there's loads of other things that I can give them and that they like. And I like to mix things up as well so that they don't eat the same things every time. Because if I give them like cucumber or broccoli every single day, then they'd get tired of that as well, I think. So I just want to mix things up a bit and give them just different types of fruit and vegetables every single day. <laughs> um, and then other things that they really like as well. Um, are uh, oats, so I give them those as well, and uh, yogurt. The yogurt that I usually uh, give them is strawberry yogurt, just because that's the yogurt that we eat ourselves and, and that's what we have, so that's what we give them. So they really like yogurt and, and oats and um, what you can do with the yogurt is you can put it on your finger and they will lick it off. Or you can put it in a little plate or a little dish or whatever you want. But if you have, for example, new rats and you want them to, uh, to get used to you, um, then it might be a good idea to take some yogurt, like I said, put it on your finger and just uh, let it eat. Let them eat it off your finger because it's a good way for them to get to know you and for them to realize that, that you're very good and that it's good to be around you because you bring them food and you give them delicious things. Yeah. I am not sure if you can hear that sound in the background, but that is my baby. 
making it clear to me that I have to come over to her and feed her as well because all that talk about food probably made her hungry if she could hear me <laughs> all the way from where she is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, end this video here. I hope that it's been in some way useful uh, for you or that, that you enjoyed watching them run around and play. <laughs> um, and then I will see you again very soon. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody. Bye.